Political Joe. He hadn't called in a while. He called in this past break. I did? Yeah, he called. Sometimes he'll call like 10 times over the weekend at like 4 in the morning or whatever. Maybe he's sleeping in the booth of an IHOP. I don't know. (laughs) But he called in the break. Hey, fat face and foot whore. Sounds like an old... 70s buddy cop show. Yes. That face and foot That horse. face and foot horse. I love it. Everyone's the squire. Because he's fat and hairy and he picks on Mary. <laughs> Bill, you still doing the uh, get down Friday night thing? I really enjoyed that. You did a good job on that. I grew up in the old days, you know, the Murray Saul, the 70s. Uh, gotta, gotta, gotta. Yeah, Yeah, and then I guess he fell on the phone or fell asleep or something. I don't know. It's good to be Bill Squire. We hadn't heard from him in a while. It always feels right when he's in the spotlight. But it started off. like he's in a better mood. It started off very insulting, calling uh, me and Mary fat face and foot whore. I love that, though. And then very complimentary of Bill for the get down Friday night. (laughs) The Bill Squire Friday Get Down is what he's trying to think of, and that happens Getting closer, a little Mary. after 6 o'clock. That's how we know that the weekend Mary likes that too. is underway. Mm, it's my favorite. Nevertheless, next week on the show, I'll have tickets for you if you want to see the Cleveland Orchestra at Blossom. They're going to show the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring, and the Cleveland Orchestra will accompany the film. They'll perform the film soundtrack live. So perhaps... Uh, if you had to hang up your suit after going to one of the Minions showings, you can take it back off and put it on to get out to the... Do people dress up for that? It's not like Severance Hall, right? Like, is that a casual way to see... They might dress up like Lord of the Rings characters. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, no, it's, it's, I'm it's, an it's, elf! It's, it's a more casual thing. And I've even been to... I went. I saw the 1989 Batman with Michael Keaton in Severance Hall with the orchestra playing along with it. And that was... You know, pretty casual too. They're so bringing. They have casual events at Severance Hall as well. They're bringing back cinema at the Square, where they show movies at Playhouse Square, and oh, one of them that. is the '89 Batman. Nice. When is that? It's in August. I think it's just a maybe a month from now. I, I don't look at the schedule okay. there, but they're showing a bunch of movies. We saw Jaws there a few years ago, pre-COVID. I saw Willy Wonka there yeah. with my kids years ago, and that was. Now, is it this the one that they do out in the... I think this is the one they do in... In Playhouse Square. I, yes, okay. in the theater. That's, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, we, we saw Willy Wonka, because I'd never seen Willy Wonka in theaters, and neither had they, of course, they're kids, mm-hmm. and that was awesome to see in that uh, big theater. Yeah, Batman and The Godfather are the two that jumped out at me. But they're Ooh. showing a bunch. They're showing, I think, Stand By Me and a bunch of... So, yeah, movies that you might not have seen in the theater. I, I wouldn't mind seeing The Godfather in the theater. Stand By Me? Oh. I think so, yeah. That's a good one. You know, I've never seen Stand By Me. Really? I don't think I have either. That's no. a great movie. Is that the one where you get the woman gets hit in the head with a baseball? Where she dies? No. No. Stand By Me is a Stephen King thing where the Feldmans are in it and they find a dead body. The, the story was called The Body. Oh, they but got the a movie good is line Stand By here. Me. Yeah, they got a lot they of the movies. Princess coming. Bride. Yep. Batman, Snow White, and the Seven People That Are Small. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the Godfather. Snow White and the Seven. That's the mm-hmm. uh, that's the boys spinoff mm-hmm. that they're doing over there on Amazon Prime. Uh, Godfather Independence Day. Yeah. Uh, man, I remember seeing Independence Day in the theaters, and I had the best time. It was nuts to butts in the theaters. Indep- that's 1996. Is that Will Smith? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And Alan's it was favorite, the Goonies. Out. The Goonies? Mm-hmm. Beauty and the Beast, The Bodyguard, Sound of Music. Goonies are part of their Movies That Suck series that they're okay. doing over there. No, no, uh, you, you overstepped your boundaries here. Mary is a psychopath. Yay. That is all. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Thank there you, you go. A little you. message off of the uh, talkback button there. I'm fine with that. On the iHeartRadio app. Why would he call you a psychopath? Oh, because you're looking to pick fights. I'm not always... Okay, yes. I'm going to pick fights. Here's going to come, come on, Mary. Stand up for yourself. A flood of comments. <laughs> how do you... How do your boyfriend live with you. I can't wait for you to break up. <laughs> Wouldn't they be happy that you have somebody that no. can put up with you? I am not that difficult to be around. <laughs> I don't find you difficult to be around. I mean, I only know you professionally, obviously, you know. I think um, you, you like what you like and you are 
you communicate about what you don't like. There is no guesswork with me. Is what and, and people think I'm a bitch or that I'm too forward, but I'm like and I've, I think I've that's said this, a good thing. I said this to my boyfriend when we first started dating. I was like, you will never have to guess what mood I'm in because you will always know how I am feeling. I will tell you when I am aggravated, aggravated, frustrated, sad, want to take a nap, if I'm overly happy. Like you'll know. You'll always know what's going on with me. I'm not one of those people who's just gonna sit there quietly and let you open figure mouth. Blah, blah, blah. Let you figure it out. My girlfriend asked me the other day, she's like, Are you mad at me? I'm like, no. If I'm mad at you, I'll tell you I'm mad. But I'm the same way. I'm like, but I'm not and I'm not someone that gets mad very often, but even if I'm bothered by something, I'll let you know that I'm bothered. She's like, Well, you just rolled over and I'm like I'm going to sleep. There are some times. I'm, I'm going to bed. There are some times. <laughs> it's bedtime. It's two in the morning. I'm very tired. Yeah. Didn't you see me in my nightshirt and yeah. my long cap holding a candle? <laughs> Did you see me kneeling by the bed saying my good night prayers? <laughs> <laughs> now I Jesus. lay me down to sleep. Somebody pointed out, by the way, that Bill's Mormonism autobiography would be called Soaking in Memories. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There are some times oh, missionary where... Missionary position. Come on. Oh, it's the best one. Goodness. They just did another big study. Missionary hits different. It does. Yeah. It's missionary is the big one. Still. Doesn't matter what you're doing. People you can have do. your reverse cowgirl. It'll tried and true. They did this big study. Hey, what's the best position for chicks? Missionary. Mm -hmm. The French call it the classical position. Italians call it the position of the angels. In the Middle East, they call it the manner of serpents. They got problems Boy. over there. They, it's, it's also been called the mama papa position. Sandlot. Yeah! I love Sandlot. That's like one of my favorite movies. Uh, but the missionary position. I, I still don't know why it's called that, but that's the one. Man on top. It's a good one. It's yeah. a classic. Anyway, I digress. What were you saying? I was just going to say that there are sometimes... Open mouth. <laughs> Where I will be quiet, and if I'm upset and quiet, it's because I'm trying to decide if it's worth saying anything or not. Where I'm like, should I just get over this and let it go, or should I say something? I think Mary's thinking more. of the movie Simon Birch, people Simon say. Simon Birch. Baseball to the head. Oh, yeah. He's a little guy. Yeah. Tell Mary I pick fights also, and my husband will tell me, you just love to argue, don't you? And sometimes I do. I think maybe I should have been an attorney. I love to argue a point. I love people who like to argue and go, I should have been an attorney. Be a good lawyer. Yeah, it's a little bit different than that. But however, maybe you should have been, right? Why weren't you? You know if you like to argue. I am. And arguing is different than debating, by the way. Debating requires facts. structure, <laughs> finesse. Yes, most of all facts. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, well, whatever, right? I mean, um, uh, people are complex and uh, fallible and... Uh, mm -hmm. Keep going. Imperfect, right? Oh, perfectly imperfect. Although, I will say this, and I'm sure I've said it again, but I've never uh, worried about repeating myself. I think people place way too much emphasis on speaking their mind all the time. It wouldn't kill you to keep your feelings to yourself once in a while. That's what I said. Yeah. That, that, like, if I'm feeling a certain way and I'm like, I have to assess it where I'm like, is this even worth bringing up? Is this just me being right. oversensitive? That's what happened last night. But that's night. a recent development. Yeah, that's, you a, told that's your, help with therapy. Yeah, you told your boyfriend, you said early on, you'll never wonder what I'm thinking. Two years ago. Sometimes I want to wonder what my woman's thinking. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're thinking no I trust me she's never uh, no i she's never uh asking me to stop talking right Wait, what i don't talk that much at home i do all my talking here or on stage i'm same. not that talkative so when, when i'm at home that makes sense because i'm the same way i'm just kind of chill but that's annoying to the people that we live with yeah yes because the they want to chat dude the two weeks we had off when my boyfriend got home from work i was so ready to talk like the one day hey what's going on how was work i was going on <laughs> I watered the garden, then I did this, and I did that, and I'm like telling him, like, blah, blah, and then the mail came, and I did that, and I'm telling him about my whole... Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Mary was speaking in all the tongues I'm telling when he him got home. everything. I had on my gray shorts today, but then I took them off, and I put on my blue shorts, because my blue shorts are a little bit more, there's more room in them, and I'm just not super happy with my body right now, and he's looking at me, like, with a face, like, I've never heard you say this many words, and I was like, I haven't seen another human all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have been in this house with the cat for 10 hours. <laughs> like, so I just called in the, this rather from, you know, this getting in there. Right. And my wife spends all day with a six-year-old. Yeah. She wants to just talk to an adult. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Alan, missionary position is absolutely the best. You see her, you see her boobies. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of positions where you see her and her boobies. Yeah, you could just set up a series of mirrors, levers, and pulleys. No, I mean, like... Cowgirl, you still see her and her boobies. <laughs> More of her and her boobies, actually. Yeah. Let's More cover. of her and her boobies. Right. That's my favorite. That's what everyone likes, is just more boobs. Mr. Boob, that's me. B double O B boob. That's right. Boobs. Alan the chicken bacon soda have gone up at Costco. Yes, I know. Where were you at the top Where of the show? Where were you at the top guy? of the show? What you have a job? Okay. I'm <laughs> working unclogging <laughs> toilets at the IHOP. Listen. Uh, yeah, I already covered this. I've gotten it on good authority from IHOP employees, both former and current. They spend a lot of their time during the workday unclogging toilets. <laughs> now, I assume they mean their own, but maybe that's part of the uh, international part. Is uh, They're sent overseas. A European sewer system is very different than ours. I think ours are old. Um, so maybe they are sent overseas as part of, little known fact... Uh, the House of Pancakes does have kind of a worker exchange program. So you might go to uh, an international House of Pancakes here, and uh, the waiter will ask you if you want frites with that dead giveaway uh, that he's here dead on a visa. Giveaway. Dead giveaway. He's here on a visa. So maybe they send them, uh, maybe there's an exchange program where they're uh, unclogging uh, toilets elsewhere. Maybe. But I don't know. They didn't give me enough information. Hmm. Speaking of picking fights, you guys want to help me on this one? Yep. Which one? So, there's a female comic friend of mine who loves to cry sexism. It's like her favorite thing in the world, is to say that she doesn't get booked because everyone's sexist. I think you've mentioned her before. I have. Mm -hmm. Drives me absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. And she is currently on a tear about a certain booking agency that will not book her, and she keeps crying sexism. Is this someone that's booked you? Uh, yes. I, I, would, I was going to say, so, you, her friend, you, would be exhibit A as to why that's probably not the case. So I just got in with them, though. A couple months ago, I just got in with this booking agency, and they're already giving me sight unseen split weekends, which means I feature a couple days and then I headline a couple days. Right. So they've never seen me before, which I can't really draw out of state, which makes sense why they would give me the split week instead also of a full cool. headline. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Do I pick this fight do i go in and because everyone's cheering her on in the comments comedy's so nope. sexist you're right nope that, but she's not right don't, she's not don't. right so what i it really frustrates so me because i feel like it takes away from people who do, do your, have problems don't count other people's money do your time i'm not counting other people's money i think she's giving women in comedy a bad name by always crying sexism when it has oh, nothing well, to do with sexism then you get on and talk about how you got this big weekend coming up not on her thing on my but own page. You'll yeah. post about it. I will. Yeah, it's not until October. And but... Well, but you'll still get people saying rah-rah to you. Rocktober. Rocktober. <laughs> it's right after September. I just, I guess I just get frustrated because I feel like she's, Why? I am, she's giving a part of the community, like a community that I'm part of a bad name. I feel like. The, but she doesn't speak for the whole community. But crying out that this is a problem in comedy for women. I want to be like, no, 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 no. This is just, a problem in comedy for you. Yes. That's attention for her that she wants. She wants clapped her. She doesn't want to, you know, who, what, if somebody goes on there and told her she was wrong. She wouldn't believe them. Yeah. She'd be like, so you, you don't know anything. Right, you and don't she, know. You know, and she'll, she'll find a way to. Pick apart whatever you have to say, but it's, it's so frustrating. But, yeah, how, but why it's, though? But also, like, it's not working. Her comments will never work against your art. I don't think that they. I don't want it in that sense. I, I don't even really know how to describe the feeling that I get. I feel it just like pisses you off. It pisses me off because I'm like, stop giving people a reason not to like women. <laughs> like, you, your constant complaining is a reason why people don't take you seriously. Yeah, like, but that's her problem. That's not your problem. But and I don't, don't want to be lumped either. in with it. And I feel but like she aren't. does. She lumps all of women in comedy into be the same group. Because... It makes her problems about women in comedy when they're not. But she thinks she is, and you think she is, but she's not. But she's speaking for herself because she's not funny enough. That's what it comes down to. She's not funny enough. And you are. It drives me nuts because, and I think it's because stand up's a very democratic thing. Yes. Like, if you are funny, you'll get work. Right. If you're not, you won't. You won't. And it's all subjective, but the people who book you are people who usually know what's funny. Yeah. But if you are also someone that is known for complaining a lot, 
they're less likely to book you. That's right. Right. So that's I, I only so should I have a conversation with her in private? Yeah, I think no. that should I call her and don't be like Don't say anything. You gotta stop doing this because you look insane. Besides, <laughs> they only book one woman and you're the woman right now, so <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what she's saying. She's like, these people haven't brought me back in years, and they only have one woman on their roster, and I wanted to slowly raise my hand and be like, well, they just got a second one. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But I, I don't know. This is one of those times when I am frustrated on the inside. I don't say anything because I just need to debate if I should say anything. I don't want... she. I would attack her appearance. Oh, that <laughs> would probably help. <laughs> Maybe it's because of your hairstyle. Uh, maybe in it's, those jeans? Do you think it's because you're fat or skinny or whatever it is? Whatever her whatever insecurity is. Whatever the way you look is, is, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Listen, you do you. That's nothing. Like, why even wade into that? Because you know what's going to happen? She's going to turn it on me and call me... Well... Uh, se- she's going to call me sexist. I don't know about that. She might. But it's also, I think in those situations, you end up putting in more time than you ever planned on because these things snowball out of they control. Do. And then they you go, do. I just want to get out of this. But you put yourself in it. Yeah. Don't even Which insert yourself never, in it. I've never commented on anything before. I have never had a, this conversation with her. But I almost want to be like, hey, quit making this about women in comedy. She's not. It's not. Yes, she and is. But the thing ma- is that she But is. it's about her. But she doesn't phrase it that way. She doesn't say, right. I have trouble with this group. Well, no, she's she not going to say that. She says, this group has problems with women. Yes, because, and that's not true. because people can't. You're not going to criticize yourself. You're going to project and go, well, it's not me. Yeah. That's all around us in every variety. It's not me. It's all these other people bringing me down. It's very that's annoying. What, well, of course it's annoying, but it's got nothing to do with you because you're getting booked. And that's that's exactly what it is, is. She has some shortcomings. She doesn't want to work on those things. So it's got to be sexism. Yeah. It can't, it couldn't possibly be that. She's difficult to work with or not funny enough or anything mm-hmm. like that. It has to be, oh, you're a woman. And that's why. Yeah. We just we just know you're a woman and that's why we're not going to book you. So you just go around letting these people spout off false information? Yes. yes. That's a, <laughs> How does that change? Like, yes. You Especially know if it's, it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Let her make a bad name for herself. Yeah. She's a friend of mine. I've known her for a very long time. And it wasn't and until... And you've maintained a friendship despite this. It wasn't until the so last... So keep it despite. The last couple years, this has gotten really bad with her. Where in the last two or three years, she's been very, very on with it. everyone's well, sexist. She should write less on Instagram and write more jokes. Maybe. It's probably true. <laughs> She knows it's true. So stay true. out of it. Don't pick this fight. Stay out of if it. If you're asking what we would do, I think Bill and I would both tell you to not enter into this. Okay. If you feel so compelled to do it. I mean, you've got a free weekend. I do have a free weekend. <laughs> and the kid is sick, so we're not picking her up tonight. So now I have a free Friday night. What am I going to do? Wow. So if you, if you want to do that. Yeah. All right. I'll let it go. It's and here's the, annoying, here's the problem, Bill. We know who she's talking about. Mary Santorum. Mary Santorum. <laughs> right? She's not here to defend herself. I think that's unfair. It's she absolutely knows. unfair. She's all over social media. But she's always getting booked, and she's always out doing uh, stand-up with her comedic troupe, The Bombers. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be I don't think the choir. It always feels right when he's in the spotlight. I don't think she's having a hard time getting booked at all. So I, don't, I actually don't think it's Mary Santorum. All right. Well, let us know what happens after you comment in her comments. Hey, I'm going to break here. A last chance for you to grab $1,000 is on the way at 530. Uh, If you want to go to that Trinity of Terror show, it's Ice Nine Kills, Black Veil Brides, Motionless in White. They're going to do Jacob's Pavilion at Nautica in September, Wednesday the 7th. So if you dig those bands, I'll hand you off the last pair of tickets here this week. Okay, call 10. Uh, You'll get these for the show. Good luck. 216-578-1007 to win. Or 800 348 1007. This is The Alan Cox Show. Everywhere on our free 